Fishing has been an important industry on Lake Galilee for thousands of years. The most industrious method of fishing was, of course, using nets. In ancient times, cotton thread was used for nets and stones were attached to the edges to help the nets sink. This thread could be seen by fish during the daylight, therefore, most fishing was done at night. Dr Luke highlights this point in his Gospel, saying that Peter and the other disciples had been fishing all night and caught nothing. Originally, fishermen used huge drag nets from the shore, encircled the fish and hauled them in. This method developed into throwing large nets off boats, which is a common practice today. Until recently, not much was known about the ancient boats that fishermen used. For many years, theories and ideas on their construction were formed from images that were left behind. That was until 1986, when years of drought led to a remarkable discovery. That year, the water level of Lake Galilee receded considerably. Two young men, walking along the western bank of their kibbutz at Gennesor, noticed an outline of a boat in the mud. When they called in the experts, they discovered the remains of an ancient fishing boat. The boat they found is 8.2 metres long, 2.3 metres wide and 1.2 metres deep. It was large enough to carry 15 people and is believed to have been used for fishing. The first century historian Josephus writes that there were 230 fishing boats operating on the lake at the time. This made fishing very competitive and finding the best fishing spots difficult. By assessing the construction techniques of the boat, marine archaeologists realised that the boat was about 2,000 years old. Originally, the boat was built shell first, with the ribs being added later. This is the opposite of how we build boats today. Many repairs had been made to this boat, as there's evidence that older wood from other boats had been hammered into the frame to keep it afloat. The wooden frame was so old and had been submerged below the waterline for so long that it was as fragile as wet cardboard containing about 70% water. This made excavating it enormously difficult. Specialist archaeologist Onar Cohen and her team first had to wrap the boat in foam and float it out. Then they spent several painstaking years replacing the water in the wood with wax. This has made the structure firm, enabling it to be displayed today in the Lakeside Museum near where it was found. 2,000 years ago, this boat sailed, fished and transported goods and people across the lake. It would have travelled to many ancient harbours and breakwaters around the lake. These harbours protected shipping from the fierce winds and the occasional rough seas. The ancient harbours and breakwaters were made from black basalt rock, the natural rock found around the shoreline. The harbours contained moorings for ships to attach ropes and behind the breakwaters, piers, repair shops, storehouses and toll houses were built. Although boats and technology have changed over the years, the goal of fishermen on the lake has remained the same, to catch as many fish as possible. <laughs>